Maybe you've seen the tweet from Skimport or maybe you've just seen that Skimport has been on maintenance for over a day. Well, what's the reason and what has happened? Okay, so on March 26, all Skimport trading accounts have been banned. What this means is that all the bots that Skimports used to store items, to sell items, to buy items, to trade items were all banned. And Skimport tweeted this out on March of 26th. Seems like a malicious detection occurred. Steam support suspects your account may have been accessed by someone else. We are temporarily forcing your profile private as a security precaution. Please contact Steam support so we can assist you. So that's what happened. Basically, in short, all the bots got banned and they had to request Valve to unban them. Now, the reason that they were banned is because Skimport could have had a bot attack. So someone just was trying to do malicious activity or maybe Valve is just trying to bring a little bit chaos in the market. Honestly, I wouldn't know the reason. Now, do you need to be scared? Well, not necessarily because later that day, they soon got a message, which is first update on the situation. Bots are quickly unbanned after submitting a support ticket for each bot. But then they have a five day trade ban due to the forced password changes by Steam support. Basically what they're saying is for each individual bot account and they have over 2500 bots, they have to send a ticket to Steam support and then the bot account will receive a five day trade ban. After that, they can be used again, probably. So the situation basically is that all the skins on Skimport, all the bots are slowly getting unbanned but it will take at least five days. I think Skimport will be in maintenance for at least a week or maybe a little bit less. Depends on if all the bot accounts get unbanned quickly. Now, should you be scared? I also have a quite bit of money in Skimport still. Just I have sold some stickers that are still on the bot. I'm not necessarily scared because Skimport is such a, gr a big site. It has around 2 million items. So I doubt that Steam will try to take down the site. I think they were just testing an algorithm to take down more bots. I do believe that there are gonna be more strict with like maybe trading bots or like gambling sites but honestly i wouldn't know now one thing that i have heard is in the discord you can join the discord in the link in the description if you want that there have been more bots bans for example this guy told that lots of bots have been banned it's just a community ban so nothing is permanent his bot account also got banned but unbanned very quickly although it doesn't seem that harmful at this current time Right now we're going to talk about profit. So if you're not a CS2 trader or if you don't want to know how you can capitalize on this opportunity and make more profit, then don't watch the video further because that's just what I'm going to explain. Okay, so what is happening right now is the following. Skimport has been going down. Skimport has around a million users per month, I believe. They have around 2 million items, so you can say that they have a lot of sales each day. Now it will be reasonable that Skimport will be gone for around 5 days to seven days what this means is that for a week all this all the people that are trying to buy skins on skimport or sell skins on skimport are going to go to other platforms and this can either be other bot markets for example d market bit skins or this can be peer-to-peer -peer markets such as walkspear gamer pay walkspear gamer pay skin bit anything like that so what i recommend you do is two things first of all try to sell skins on other platforms for higher prices what I mean with this is that more people are going to go to other platforms. So the demand is going to be much higher than the supply because in, in the short term, the supply usually can't be filled. Therefore, there can, you can sell your skins at a higher price means a higher profit. Once you've done that, you can also try to buy skins for cheaper. What this means is that people who want to sell their skins on Skimport, they want to quick sell it. They're now going to quick sell it on other sites. And this can literally be any site. So what you have to look out for in this next days, just for more deals that are more profitable. I really think that this week there are going to be a lot of great deals on many marketplaces. And the second thing that you have to prepare for is prepare some money in your bank account because probably when Skimport is going back up again, it's either going to be one of two things or like one is certain and the other one I personally wouldn't know. So first of all, a lot of people are going to sell their skins on Skimport. So I would assume that there will be a lot of quick sales, which means that you can snipe skins. Although this will only be in the first couple of days and most importantly, the first day. So let's say that by coincidence, you know that the site has just been out of maintenance, then you can do that. And lastly, I don't know what's gonna happen to the prices. I don't know if they're gonna be higher or lower. If you enjoyed watching the video, please like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.